Are you ready, kids? I, I, teacher, I cannot hear you. I, I, teacher. So we're back in our video and we're going to continue from where we left off. And over here, I have all the variables. If you did your assignment, hand it over. For those of you who didn't, out, out of the class right now. Just kidding. Anyways, in the awake function, we are going to get the references. So my awesome body, we're going to say get component. So get component, rigid body 2D. This is how I'm going to get the awesome body. So for those of you who are trying to cut weight and, you know, get in shape, just use my body equals rigid body. You have an awesome body. So my anim or the anim is going to be equal to get component animator. So animator component. There you go. And we are going to have two functions over here. One is going to handle the jumping. So here I'm going to say void handle jumping. Another one is going to do the jumping. So jump or perform the jump. And we're also going to have one to handle the animations so over here. Void handle animations. There you go. So essentially what we are going to do in our handle jumping is we are going to say if time dot time is greater than the jump timer. So jump timer, then we are going to perform the jump. So we're going to say over here jump, but you know where this is going to lead. So we are going to use the jump timer and that is going to be equal to time dot time plus the random, you know, range between our minimum wait time and the maximum wait time. Because we, the, as you can see, this is the same code, just the logic implemented a little bit differently, basic code, but used with a simple logic to create a game. I'm going to copy this over here and in the start function do the exact same thing because we need to set the initial wait time. And there you go. Here for the jumping, we are going to test if we can jump, then we are going to perform the jump and that's going to happen by using my body, my awesome body that is velocity is equal to new vector two, zero for the X and for the Y is going to be a random range between the minimum jump force and the maximum jump force. And there it goes, so if we can jump, and this is a boolean, not a float, excuse me. So I made a mistake in the previous video. This is not a float. This is a boolean and there you go. So this is going to handle the jumping. So over here, I'm going to say void update or simply update. There you go. Handle jumping This goes here and here handle animation or handle animations this goes here. We can test this out. We don't have the animation, but we can test it out just so that we can see what is going on, what we need to check, what we need to, you know, do and so on and so forth. So if I hit the play button, we should see that our, you know, our spider is, you know, over here. Now he should jump. Hopefully, come. did we attach the script? Yes, but the problem here is the following. You see, the can jump is false because it is set here to be false. How can we set it back to true? Well, again, we're going to utilize over here inside of the handle jumping. I wanted to show this, but I was hoping he was going to jump, but we first need to set the jump to or can jump to true. But over here, we're going to utilize and we are going to test if our body. So if my body dot velocity dot magnitude, if that is equal to zero, then we are going to say can jump is equal to true. And over here, when we jump, we are going to say can jump is equal to false. Now, the reason for this or what is the magnitude returns the length of this vector. As it says, it returns the length of this vector, meaning if this velocity, which is a vector, you see, this is a vector, it has a value, it has X and the Y, so it's a vector. So if it has a value, meaning the velocity X or Y are greater than zero, this magnitude will return a value that is greater than zero. If both of these, if X and the Y are zero, no matter if they are, you know, only if they are zero, this will return zero. Even if this is a negative value, because we are going down, we are falling down, even if it's a negative value, then we are going to also return a number that's greater than zero. So over here, if it's equal to zero, that means that the velocity is standing still. The spider is standing still on the ground. He's not moving, which means his velocity X and Y are not being affected. They are not moving. And that means he's standing 
stationary. So when we use this, you can use this to perform if a game object is steady, if he's not moving. That's why or that's how we can use this magnitude. So if that is the case over here, then we're simply going to say can jump is true. Over here, if we can jump, then we're going to say can jump is false and add this value to jump. And until we land again, we will not be able to jump. So let's test that out right now and see what is going to happen. So if I hit the play button, I believe that we need to set the idle animation to be a little bit faster. There you go. Look at that. He jumped. An idle animation can be 0.5. Look at that. He jumped and there you go. But we're not animating him. So let's go back over here and for the handle animation, we are going to test the same thing. So if my body velocity magnitude, if it's equal to zero, we are stationary. That means we are not jumping. So we're going to say anim set bool. So it's going to be set bool. And we're going to use the tag manager jump animation parameter. And over here, we're going to say false. Otherwise else, we are going to set this bool to be equal to true and there you go. Because again, if the magnitude, you see, if we are stationary, if we're not moving, if we're standing on the ground still, that means the magnitude will be zero. That means we should not play the jump animation. Else, if the magnitude is not zero, that means we can play the jump animation. And for you to test it out, simply go here in the update debug.log and use the my body. So simply use my body dot velocity. And why isn't it giving me so it's my body velocity magnitude Print it out. I'm not going to do it right now. Print it out. That is your assignment. I mean, a basic one, but print it out if you're curious to see the magnitude's value. So just print it out and you will see what is happening. And again, the same exact thing that we are using or the same exact logic we're using to make the, the spider jump. So if I hit the play button right now, when we jump, you are going to see, look at that. So we are going to see that, well, what happened over here? So let me just see here. Okay, we don't have transition. So we are going to go from idle to jump when jump is true. And we're going to go back from jump to idle when jump is false. Well, that is something that you forget to do. I mean, me, I'm not using you or am I? Anyways, look at that. So now when we jump, you see he is in the jump and as soon as he lands, he goes back and you can also pay attention here in the idle in the animator tab. Look, the idle is now playing, now it's jump. As soon as he lands down, the idle starts playing and there you go. So this way is, or this is how we can look at that. And he of course can perform multiple jumps for that. You can, when I say multiple jumps, as soon as he land and you know, the time has come for him to jump, he can jump again. So you can change the maximum jump force maybe to 10 or whatever. But of course, he's not on the very ground at the bottom. So that's why he jumped out of the camera view. But that is essentially this when it comes to the spider jumper. Let me just, there is nothing to be overridden. But again, if something is not clear over here, these are basic things. We reuse most of the things that we use so far. So over here for the jump, we're simply adding the velocity, random range on the Y, on the X, nothing because, and here we can use zero. We don't have to use my body velocity X because we are not moving the X value at all. So that can be done that way. So no worries there because the spider is stationary in one place. He only jumps on the Y axis. And basically that is that. If something is not clear when it comes to this lecture, this explanation, everything what we did here and here utilizing the exact same thing and so on and so forth, just make sure you ask in the comment down below. I hope that you did your assignment and that you created something similar as I did. It doesn't have to be similar. It can be completely yours out of your head, but it works. And uh, yeah, fire from awesomedudes.com. You already know that. You're on Awesome Dudes YouTube channel. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video.